Hi, welcome to G3 TXU Hexby by MW0JZE. Uh, quick short video showing you the new the new style hub. I like the flanges and the all metal center post, which is a air coaxial center post. No coax used in it at all. It is a braid. And you've got, we've got a rod then suspended inside, which is your live or centre of your coax. And I'll get that into shot. This is the uh, N, N type. This has been requested. Uh, you get an SO239 or an N type as requested uh, by the customer for this particular post. Okay. Right, we'll go into the first thing you will need to do. When it comes in the packaged, these are separate. Just, just for packaging, save space in the box, that's all. So we need to put this onto the plate. And you must go the same way as the top one. So we'll just quickly put that on there. Just uh, put these on finger tight for now. Tighten these up, you need an Allen key, 6 mil, 6 mil Allen key for the top, and an adjustable spanner, or it's 17 mil for the nuts. So you've got just continue with the other three as well. I'll do for this uh, example. Next thing you need to do is to insert the center post. So we remove the M875 machine screw and the fibre washer, fibre spacer rather. Black side out, black line matches the grub screws. Right. Right, so the post is at the front of the post with the feed point and the drain hole is the back. The reverse side is the front, and that lines up with the grub screws. If you're putting this straight into a rotator, you will need to put the fibre spacer. So we'll just slide that over. What I said, line the little black line up with the grub screws on top. A bit of gentle persuasion to get that in there. There we go, that's it. And then, insert the machine screw. And do up machine screw two 13 mil spanners or tighten those up I won't bother to, sh to show you on this example at the moment need to tighten the grub screws it's a four and a half mil allen key which is supplied just tighten them as tight as you can get them right really really tight as you can come two on the bottom and two on the top that's pretty much it this is if you put it into a rotator, uh, directly into the rotator, sorry. If you intend to use a stub mast of your own, or you on top of a cage, on top of a mast, then it's a different procedure. It's a 48mm outside diameter tubing, which is what is referred to as scaffold tube. This is the aluminium version. You can get a steel version, but uh, this is the aluminium version. It's got an off cut here. That needs to be inserted over the top. 
before we can do that we need to remove the fibre spacer so we loosen these off remove this take the machine screw out put to one side because you will need to use this in the next stage and we'll just pull that apart we don't need this now so we just put it to one side This is important as you do it this way around. Get your stub mast, insert it, and tighten up the grip screw. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay. Nice and tight. Drill 8mm, 8mm drill bit, and just basically drill down through the hole, the existing hole on the one side, turn it over, same again, just go all the way through, just make sure you've got the holes lined up, that's going all the way through, so you can see that, and then we remove it. Undo the grub screws. Remember which way around you put it. So you may want to put a little mark on there. Just to help line that up. The grub screws, you know which way it goes in. Move it. Centre post. Again, front of the centre post lined up. Reinsert the stem mast and we just get a shot of that. All the holes are now lined up. The hole through the stem mast and the uh, well the, in the stem mast inside and the stem mast are now lined up. And uh, we can just insert the machine screw. Right, yeah, we got it. Tighten them up, two 13mm spanners. Tighten the grab screws. Top ones, nice and tight. Make sure they're very tight. This is what is holding the antenna together. These need to be quite tight. Tighten these up, make sure these are tight. And that is your stub mast, your, the larger stub mast, really. Nice tight fit into the flange. Has to be 48mm, two inches too big. 48mm, or just look for a scaffold tube. That's the exact right size to fit inside that flange. And that concludes the new version uh, hub, like to weight flanges and the more robust metal centre post with air coaxial centre post and that's it guys so thank you very much indeed 73s